All right, I'm going to show you how to uh, draw insulin, the last bit of insulin, out of an insulin syringe that says it's empty. Um, and it's also kind of a video on how to just draw it out of an insulin pen, period. I don't have insurance, and uh, these fast-acting insulins are something that works a lot better for, for me than the... Uh, our insulin that you can buy over the counter at Walmart cheap. These are really expensive and occasionally I'll have somebody who goes off of a certain type of insulin who gives me this stuff and uh, I'll use it up because it is a lot better. Works a lot faster than our insulin. Although unit for unit it's the same thing. But I wanted to talk about a couple things first that are really important. It used to be every insulin pin, except in one really rare circumstance that's not uh, hardly worth mentioning, was um, U100 insulin. And it means that there's 100 units in one milliliter of insulin. Unfortunately now, there's a handful of pin manufacturers who are now manufacturing uh, U300 insulin, and that is 300 units per mil. The problem being, and what would make this really dangerous if you didn't understand that concept, would be that if you took a U300 pin and drew it up with your standard syringe, and you're reading these numbers on the syringe here, thinking you're getting 10 units, well, if you're drawing up U300 insulin, you're actually getting 30 units. It's three times concentrated. U300 is three times more concentrated than U100 insulin. The vast majority of them are still U100 and they're calibrated within the pin themselves. Uh, the, I should say the U300, they're calibrated in the pin. They're actually only giving you one third the volume. So a unit is always a unit but sometimes there are different concentrations. But anyway, this is U100 insulin. So I have the correct syringes. They only make normal syringes one way. And if you look uh, close enough on the packaging, you'll see U14, U100 insulin, or the box is also for U100 insulin. So when you get to the end of these pins, you can see that the, according to the pin itself, there's maybe eight units left right there. You can see the edge of the plunger. You can see where the 12 was at. Not much left. And when you dial up your last dose, it's stopping at five. So this is only going to give me the last five units out of this pin. But I know there's actually about 18 units in these pins left that you can get out of there if you know one little trick. And the key is you have to inject air into the insulin pin in order to be able to get that last little bit of insulin out. Uh, otherwise it creates a suction and you never get the, the last little drop. So first of all, let me show you if I just wanted two units of insulin, how the process would go. I dial up my two, I could do it first, I could do it after I stick the needle in, but you'll stick your needle, so I'm having to work with this camera here, so this isn't going to be as accurate for me as normal, because I'm trying to watch through the camera as I do this. You'll stick your insulin needle in there, and let's just finish this off, I'm dialing up to five here, and then when I press that in, should give me five units or very close to it. In this case, it only did four. That's one reason I don't like these pins is because they don't ever perfectly give you the insulin that you dial up. You always know you're getting the right amount once you use a traditional vial. And a unit matters. The difference for me is in getting low blood sugar and having perfect low blood sugar, one unit. So there's my five units.
I need to take a dose. I'm going to take that now off camera so I don't waste it. And bring this back to zero. So what I'm going to do, I usually overshoot. I'm only going to get about 18 units out of this pin that won't dial up any more insulin. It's locked. I'm going to inject. Looks like I got it set to 35 there. If I'm looking through my camera correctly. I'm going to force that air up into this pin needle. You might be able to see those bubbles. And now, when I draw back, I can get that little bit, last bit out. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to overcome the pressure for me to get that last bit of insulin. And you should start seeing air here. Pretty, there it goes. One more trick that most people know who are used to vials to get the last bit out. You pull that needle out just a little bit, turn this up as vertically as possible, and sometimes you can just squeeze a little more out of there. This insulin's like gold. It's gotten a hair cheaper in recent months, uh, but this pen is worth three mils of insulin. That's worth hundred bucks, give or take. Probably 125 bucks right there, full of insulin. So this extra 25 units I got, it's normally about 18. Here, let's push the air out and see exactly what I got out of this one. Wait till we get that little squirt and we'll have the air out of the needle. There it goes. I got 22 units extra out of this pin as it was completely used up. I don't know, probably worth five bucks worth of insulin right there that normally just gets thrown in the trash. Well, that stuff's important to me. I'll try to make another video where I better explain the U300 and U500 insulin differences and why this would be dangerous if you're drawn from a U300 pin. But this is all I wanted to cover in this video, how to get that last little bit out of a pin. Thanks.